Hi, my name's Lily. Welcome to Mountain Fest. I love Kennesaw Mountain for all of the friendships and relationships that not only my daughter has built, but that I have built as well. And I want to thank you for this amazing community that's meant so much to all of us. We love being here at Kennesaw Mountain High School. The Kennesaw Mountain Marching Band has been, it's such a family here and we love that we get to be a part of this um, every day. All right, so who am I here with today? I'm Mr. Hubner. I'm one of the band directors here at Kennesaw Mountain. Awesome. Well, Mr. Hubner, uh, thank you for being here. Um, so, what's your favorite roller coaster? Can you tell me about um, your passion? Okay, so um, I, I'm a roller coaster enthusiast. Uh, actually, when I was in the sixth grade, I had to do a project where I did a, a, a graph to yeah. see how many roller coasters were in each state, uh -huh. and that got me kind of thinking and really interested in it. And I actually grew up really close to an amusement park called Cedar Point yes. that has been voted the best uh -huh. park in the world like for many, many years. So okay. I started going on those rides and, and love them. My favorite roller coaster actually is at Cedar Point. It's called Steel Vengeance. Okay. But I love all different kinds of roller coasters. I, yeah. Literally when I travel the world, I ride oh. roller coasters. I've been on over 400 different roller coasters from all over the place. So, And I feel like it's fun because anytime we do like a band event or a band trip, if we're traveling, it's like, there's an amusement park. We have to stop yeah. and take everyone there. And I feel like roller coasters are fun too because everyone has an opinion about it. It's either like, this is the scariest thing, I hate this, or like, uh -huh. I love this thing or I love this ride. So it, roller coaster is always kind of a fun talking point as well too. Yeah, no, that's amazing. I mean, do you have like a list or a sheet that you keep track of like all your roller coasters and like the fun facts about them? I do. So I have a list just to keep like, you know, because I like spreadsheets. I like to keep organized with yes. stuff. So I do have a, a list of like, here's everything I've been on. But okay. then there are great like there are our websites basically that have like catalogs and data database of like here's okay. all the stuff and then a lot of the stuff I just like just from kind of looking at it and knowing it uh -huh. you just kind of like memorize a lot of it as well too okay. I know and but that's one of those things it's like you just if you do enough of something you're just like oh yeah I like this or you know this is a thing yeah. and you just eventually learn more about it so no that, that is actually really cool I didn't yeah, know that it is fun do you have a favorite international roller coaster like one that you've been on overseas oh, wow that's a really tough one um, I would probably say the one that comes to my mind and stands out right away, there's a park in South Korea. Oh. Um, it's called okay. Everland. Yeah. In Everland, what they did is they built this ride called T-Express. And T-Express is built by one of the like the top like, manufacturers around. Yeah. And it has some of the most extreme like like elements on it. Like, uh -huh. you know, like basically where like you're lifted out of your seat with airtime, like these crazy moments and stuff. So yeah. that one really stands out to me as just being like, this is this was one of the most extreme like rides you ever uh -huh. could do. So that one for sure. Um, but I do like like anytime, you know, again international, it's always great to have opportunities like that as well too. But yeah. it's um but it also is tough too because when you go internationally you just want to have an opportunity to experience like the culture as well too. Oh, and yeah, just I like agree see some of the sites and uh -huh. experience you know like the stuff and sometimes you do amusement parks and it's like this feels this feels like something I could do in the US so yes. it's finding kind of a balance with some uh -huh. of that when you do that no that's that's very cool yeah. 